Okay, let's look at some strategies on how you are going to market your boiler. Don't only be a farmer. Become a businessman today. Look at this farmer. Look at what he did. See how he made his banner, presented his... How many of us are doing this? Raise up your hand. Less than 10%. Look at it. That is why people are flooding my phone. Eh, Dr. John, my best are ready. Please help me sell my chicken. You are not doing any marketing. And you want me to sell your chicken for you. <laughs> eh? Now look at... Look at the strategy here. This young man said here, special offer. Free delivery. Yeah, the now look at here. Price is here, 200. Shipping, 50. People are not there. Then look at where people are crowding. Free shipping. <laughs> Many people, they like free things. So. <laughs> eh? You see that? But look at this. It's a price. So. You have to use this marketing strategy. Farmers are not doing marketing. That is why you are not selling your chicken at that price. That is why you are not marking up at 25% increment. Am I complicated? Look at this other one. This farmer has been advertising since. I even advised her, please, make sure you do this. Make sure you do this. And now she's not worrying me again to market her chicken for her. What she's worrying me now is that, uh, please, how much is the old I want to book? This particular farmer, I purposely put what is phone number that you can call. Eh? Huh? She's not worrying me again about how much uh, please help me sell my chicken. Uh -uh. Because of what? Marketing. Consider marketing before production. Before you start producing. Plan your marketing. Be a marketer first. Develop, advertise, and build a brand. How many of you have a brand here? Do you know what I mean by brand? We are not calling you by your name. Maybe we'll call this one, uh, this Barista Charles. You say Barista Charles, uh, Barista Charles Chicken. Eh? What is the brand you are building? What will I call your farm? Like Eleko. Everybody know her as Eleko. But they don't know her name more. But is there a they know? That is building a brand. That is what farmers should do. Develop and analyze your customer database and be consistent in doing it. Consistency. Every person, one person you get his number as your customer today is a lot. It forms part of your database. Be sensitive to market dynamics and adjust. This market dynamics today, you have to adjust. That is where you should adjust. Oh, I should I need more marketing now. I need to sell to middleman. I this thing is I know I need to sell direct to this person. It's market dynamics that should give you that idea. Be consistent in the production of neat and quality broilers to meet the desired body weight and table size. Look at this broiler. I will find the one I will not buy. Look at this. Now Look at this. Eh? Even if you are blind, even if you are blind, won't you like this chicken? Look at this. Look at this. Be consistent. Utilize the power of social media. And who is a smart farmer? A smart farmer is one who knows where, how to stay at his home and reach out to a lot of people. Be a smart farmer. So create your own customer groups and develop the channel consistently. I know why I'm using that word consistently. So people will start it. Eh? And they'll just go and relax. It's not easy to... The, the hardest step in life is the first step. Am I communicating? Advertise your channels using neatly snapped pictures. Some people posted something this morning. I saw somebody posting advert. You want to sell chicken? Wait, I don't know why do people behave. You want to sell chicken? Eh? You want you are now posting a video. And in that video, if you were stating, you see the, the, even there's no food. The, the, the brothers are rushing. Hey, good, 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 good. I will not buy. <laughs> eh? If 
If I see that girl, I will know that this man is suffering the best. How do farmers behave? You're supposed to package yourself. Be consistent in keeping the group active and teach vulnerable lessons. Every, every farmer is supposed to have his own group. Customer, your own customer group. Farmer, a farmer is not your customer. Don't take a farmer as your customer. He can be your customer occasionally. Eh? Fellow farmers that are here, all of them are, all of us are producing umbrella. You are producing, you are producing, and you want this one to buy your own how? <laughs> Ensure clean and neat packaging. Look at this chicken. Well packaged. Well packaged. Well packaged. Snap clean pictures. I've said it before for your social media adverts. Look at this clean picture. Look at this one. Very clean picture. When you when somebody sees it, you want to know that oh, this person they are doing this thing well. Consider to market broiler varieties and educate your customers of what the advantages. All of us, we are all want to market live chicken and breast chicken. Everybody, live chicken and breast chicken. Now look at this one. Look at this one. Do you know that this thing can be market? You can market this. Eh? Look at this. Do you know you can market this? Our farmers are not giving it. Look at this one. This one says, nice with me, pass. Everybody wants to eat chicken now. <laughs> The orange color. Please consider it. Consider it. Your neighborhood may need it. A lot of people around you may need it. Don't sit at your farm to wait for customers. Always go out in daily search for new customers. You are sitting at your farm and you are placing a call to me. I should sell your chicken for you. What are you doing inside your house? Eh? <laughs> But it's the truth. You have to go in search. You have to walk. Put yourself to work. That is why you are a farmer. Don't just be a farmer. Be a businessman. Create social I mean, special incentives for your customers. Discount for them. Discount for them. When you see somebody is regularly patronizing you, don't allow the person to ask you for discount. You do it. It makes you keep the person. There is a lot of information that is passing to that customer. Always preach about the advantages of eating brellas to people and convince them to patronize you. Anybody I see now is my potential customer. Provided you eat. Everybody in the world have now. Everybody in the world must eat. And out of 100, 80 may eat chicken. So anybody should be a potential customer to you. Advertise yourself. Even if I ever, if I, hi, oh God. You're supposed to have a t-shirt with chicken. Drop. <laughs> See, I'm saying this thing is, it's not like you. Anywhere you are going, people should see you that this is what you do. This is your, you should be proud of your business. Put a t-shirt, put a, put a, not, before, in 2018, they used to call me Mr. Chicken. Even in my church, when I enter church, like they call me Mr. Chicken. That's what they because the T-shirt I wear always a red T-shirt with a, a white rhino, right on. It's written Mr. Chicken. Let people know you. You may be having what somebody needs, but because they don't know, they won't patronize you. Belong to Farmers Union. Belong to Brother Farmers Union. How many of us are members of the union? See our chairman here. See, look at look, see, see, brother from us, see, brother from us, your members, oh, and you want to market your chicken, you want to market your chicken, you are not a member of the union, it won't work because you may not work together, the, the, the mindsets will not be together. Hello, when you belong to the union, you can communicate well, we can even make a fixed price, we can advise. That is why if you go to the egg industry now, they have, the union is so thick that they communicate even price advisory. They even put your own there for you. And you're not a member of the Brother Farmers Union. Okay. Create community awareness using banners and bills. This one, anyway, you can do it, but it may not have much impact as the social media aspect. 
Marketing is at all times, not only at maturity of the birds. People wait until six weeks or five weeks. Bam! Bam! My best are mature. Yeah, they will start. That is when they start their marketing. It doesn't work like that. Too. You have to start marketing. Like I said earlier, you can market even when you are not producing. You can be a marketer first before you start producing. So start marketing even when you can. Immediately you carry your day old marketing starts. Am I communicating? Consider more of your sales to direct consumers while smartly, smartly considering the middlemen. We can't rule them out. No matter what we do, you can't rule out the role of a middleman in the market. So, but you have to be smart in considering them. But let your weight be thrown to your personal marketing to consumers, direct consumers. Always reach out to your customers for feedback and improve yourself using the feedback of your customers. Take advantage of social and religious gatherings at all times. Let me tell you this story before I end my lecture. This is the last of it. Social gatherings and religious gatherings. This is where... Let me, okay, let me use the church, for example. On Sunday, in my, in my, in my house, when I was small, any day they kill chicken. We we'll celebrate. In fact, I was uh, me and the last born among the males. And I know, I already know that I'm the owner of the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and again, using this strategy, in 2018, I started something. I started something about religious in the in the in the church. I just came, I met with the Reverend Father, I told her, I mean, please, I, I, I do chicken. But I don't know how to market it. Can I bring something to you so that you can see how it is? I brought one big chicken. And I gave to him. He celebrated. I said, but I want to do some things for the children department too. And I went to the children department. I was, I was permitted. I shared them head and leg, head and leg, head and leg. All of them. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> After I shared head and leg to all of them. I was at the gates wearing my Mr. Chicken. And when I was sharing it, I made sure that I was wearing my Mr. Chicken so that they can recognize me. When I was at the gates, I stood there. I was waiting. All of them, they would go to their mother. I would head and leg. You can't cook only head and leg now. <laughs> you have to be smart, oh. You can't cook only head and leg. And on that day, I saw chicken, it's finished. And I was not able to satisfy the need. If, what, who, who has ever done that before here? No one. No one. Not even one person. No one. You have done it before. Smart farmer. This is I'm saying. Eh? If you try it, the, you, at a point, you become a brand. How many churches can you cover? How many mosques can you cover? How, on every Sunday, out of 100 persons that come to Maraba to buy meat, out of 100, 60 will buy chicken. How are you trying to carry that market to your place? Out of 100 persons, persons that come to your church eh, in a day, 60 will likely cook stew. And out of that 60 that will cook stew, 30 will likely use chicken. How many of your chicken is being used? In that same church you are sitting down. Ask yourself questions and make use of this information. It's a, it's a, it's a timely information. Am I communicating? Yes. Now do you want to perform excellently? Do you know this book? If you have it, raise up your hand. If you don't have it, as soon as you are going down, enter the pharmacy section. Tell them to give you the poultry farming green book. Go and read it cover to cover. It will guide you. It will help you. And you will become a better farmer. Thank you very much for listening.